Now for this next part, part B, we've got to find the height above P to which the ball rises before it starts to fall towards the ground again. So in other words, this height just up here. Now I've updated the diagram with the value of u that we found in part A, 0.9. So it's projected initially upwards with a speed of 0.9 meters per second. But we need to find this height. So let's just give it a letter. Let's say we call it, say, big H. So put the dimension arrows on there and uh, down here. So just get it in there. All right, so there we go. There's uh, big H. Now to get H, we know that when the ball gets to the top here, it comes to what we call instantaneous rest. So its speed here is zero meters per second for an instant of a second. All right. Now to get H then, what we need to do is consider SUVAT equation again, S, U, V, A, and T. But we're going to look at just this stretch up here. Now I have no idea what the time T is, so that's going to not enter the equation. I'm also going to need to take a positive sense. And again, as I mentioned in part A, since upwards was the initial velocity, let's take upwards as the positive sense. So what is S? Well, S is displacement from here, and that will be H, big H. U, well, that's 0 0.9, as we had in the positive sense here, so it's going to be 0 0.9 meters per second. V, the final velocity, well, over this stretch, the final velocity is zero, zero meters per second. And the acceleration, well, the acceleration is the acceleration due to gravity, which it acts downwards. So that's going to be minus 9.8 meters per second per second. So the equation that links these together that doesn't involve t has got to be v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So that's what we're going to do using v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So what is V? Well, we can substitute that in. We got zero then equals U squared. That's 0 0.9 squared plus two multiplied by the acceleration, which is minus 9.8 multiplied by S, which is the H. So what we've got here then is therefore zero equals, and if you square 0 0.9, you've got 0 0.81 and 2 times minus 9.8h is going to give you minus 19.6h. Now add 19.6h to both sides, and therefore we have 19.6h equals 0.81, and divide by 19.6 to both sides, and you get h equals 0.04132. And so on. And if we give this, say, to say 2SF, two, two sigma figures, then therefore H equals 0.041 to 2SF. And don't forget the units, that'll be meters. Okay.